Have you ever wondered about the mysteries that lie within the walls of the world's most sacred sites? Today, we venture into the heart of Jerusalem, where the Church of the Holy Sailor, also known as the Church of the Resurrection, stands as a beacon of spiritual devotion. With roots tracing back to the 4th century, this sacred site holds profound significance as the place where Jesus Christ was believed to be crucified, buried, and resurrected. The story of the Church of the Holy Sailor is as complex as it is fascinating. While it serves as a place of worship and pilgrimage, the control of the Church is a multi-layered puzzle intricately woven among various Christian denominations and secular entities. This intertwining of faiths and politics has shaped the Church's narrative, creating a rich tapestry of history, faith and tradition. The Church's journey through the centuries is marked by the ebb and flow of power with each denomination leaving its imprint on the Church's architecture, rituals, and the hearts of its faithful. From the Greek Orthodox to the Armenian Apostolic, from the Roman Catholic to the Coptic Orthodox, each has a stake in this sacred space, adding to its diverse spiritual landscape. Yet, amidst the labyrinth of chapels, sanctuaries, and sacred sites within the Church lies a unifying thread the profound belief in the divine power of Jesus Christ and his resurrection. This unity and faith, despite the diversity in traditions, is a testament to the transcendent nature of spiritual devotion. The Church of the Holy Sailor is not just a historical monument or a place of worship. It's a living testament to the enduring power of faith, a spiritual compass guiding millions of believers on their spiritual journeys. And within these hallowed walls, an extraordinary event recently unfolded, leaving believers and skeptics alike in awe. An event that has prompted us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the Church of the Holy Sailor. This complex tapestry of history and faith sets the stage for an extraordinary event that recently unfolded within these hallowed walls. Let's dive deeper into this captivating story in our next segment. Picture this. You're standing in the ancient church of the Holy Sealer when suddenly something miraculous happens. In this very space where countless believers have gathered to express their devotion and seek spiritual solace, an extraordinary event unfolded that left its witnesses in awe. The crucifix icon, a symbol of faith and devotion that has been a constant presence in the church, suddenly revealed a phenomenon that stunned everyone present. The eyes of the crucifix, which had been closed for eternity, opened, casting a captivating divine gaze upon all those present. This was not a trick of the light or a collective illusion. It was a bona fide miracle witnessed by numerous people who were there in that holy space at that moment. What followed was a collective gasp, a moment of shared astonishment, as the reality of what had just happened sank in. The eyes that had been closed, a symbol of Christ's suffering and death had opened, symbolizing resurrection and eternal life. It was a potent reminder of the transformative power of faith and the presence of the divine in our everyday lives. The reactions of the witnesses varied. Some fell to their knees, their hands clasped in prayer. Others stood frozen, their eyes wide with astonishment. And there were those who wept, their hearts filled with a profound sense of peace and joy. Despite their different reactions, they all shared a deep sense of awe and wonder. Such events, while rare, have been reported over the centuries. But this occurrence at the Church of the Holy Sailor has a unique resonance. It happened in a place of profound spiritual significance, and it was witnessed by a diverse group of people, pilgrims, locals, and tourists alike. This miraculous event serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring power of faith. It underscores the belief that the divine can manifest in our lives in unexpected ways, challenging our perceptions and deepening our spiritual understanding. This occurrence resonated profoundly within the hearts of pilgrims and believers, underscoring the enduring power of faith. It's a testament to the divine mystery that continues to unfold in our world reminding us that miracles can happen when we least expect them. To fully grasp the gravity of this miracle, we must delve into the rich historical context of the Church of the Holy Sailor. This sacred site, nestled in the heart of Jerusalem's old city, 
is steeped in a history that spans centuries, a testament to the enduring power of faith and devotion. The Church of the Holy Sealer, also known as the Church of the Resurrection, stands on what was originally a Jewish burial ground. This site, rich in spiritual significance, was transformed in the 4th century under the rule of Emperor Constantine. He, driven by his Christian faith, ordered the construction of a church on this site, marking a significant shift in religious landscape. This transformation was not without conflict. The construction of the church meant the removal of a pagan temple that had previously stood on the site, a move that was met with resistance. This event marked a turning point in history, symbolizing the growing influence of Christianity in the Roman Empire. Over the centuries, the Church of the Holy Sailor has witnessed countless moments of historical significance. It has stood as a symbol of faith through periods of peace and turmoil, its walls bearing witness to the ebb and flow of history. The Church's control has been intricately woven among various Christian denominations and secular entities, creating a complex tapestry of history, faith, and politics. The Church of the Holy Sailor is more than just a building. It is a living testament to the enduring power of faith, a beacon of hope that has guided countless believers through the centuries. It is within these hallowed walls that the crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ are believed to have taken place, making it a site of profound spiritual significance. This historical backdrop deepens our understanding of the recent miraculous event and its significance. The opening of the icon's eyes within this sacred space resonates with a profound sense of awe and wonder, serving as a reminder of the enduring power of faith and the transcendent nature of sacred spaces. This event, like the Church of the Holy Sealer itself, stands as a testament to the divine mystery that continues to captivate believers and skeptics alike. What does this miraculous event mean for us today, and how does it contribute to our understanding of faith? As we explore this question, we turn to Father Theodore, a long-standing custodian of the Church of the Holy Sealer. Father Theodore's reflections on the miracle offer a unique perspective, one that emphasizes the importance of faith beyond physical manifestations of divine intervention. Father Theodore reminds us that the greatest miracle is not in the opening of the icon's eyes, but in the transubstantiation that occurs during the divine liturgy. In this sacred ritual, bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. This transformation, unseen to the human eye, is a profound mystery that underscores the essence of Christian faith. It serves as a reminder that belief often lies in the unseen, in the heart of the believer rather than in tangible signs and wonders. According to Father Theodore, the miraculous event at the Church of the Holy Sealer is a divine sign, a reaffirmation of faith. It's not about the spectacle, but about the message it conveys. It's a call to remember the essence of faith the belief in the unseen, the trust in the divine plan, and the hope in the resurrection. This miracle, much like the transubstantiation, is not just about seeing, but about believing. It's about understanding that faith goes beyond what we can perceive with our senses. It's about accepting that there are mysteries that transcend our understanding, and yet they are as real and as significant as the air we breathe. So. As we reflect on the miracle, let's remember that faith is not just about seeking signs and wonders. It's about finding God in the everyday, in the love we share, in the kindness we extend, in the forgiveness we offer, and in the hope we hold for a better tomorrow. This event at the Church of the Holy Sailor serves as a sign from God, strengthening faith and preparing hearts for Holy Week and Resurrection. It's a reminder to all of us to look beyond the visible and embrace the mysteries of faith, to trust in the divine plan and hope in the promise of resurrection. As we conclude our exploration of this miraculous event, it's time to ponder its deeper implications. This extraordinary happening at the Church of the Holy Sealer, a site steeped in a rich tapestry of history and faith, is a vivid testament to the enduring power of belief and the transcendent nature of sacred spaces. It's a striking reminder that the spiritual realm can intersect our mundane world 
in the most unexpected ways, leaving us in awe and deep contemplation. The sacred walls of the church have witnessed centuries of devotion, prayer, and miracles, and this recent event adds another fascinating layer to its spiritual narrative. It's a beacon illuminating the path for those seeking solace, answers, and connection with the divine. It's a testament to the resilience of faith in the face of the trials and tribulations of our human existence. The opening of the crucifix icon's eyes is more than just an extraordinary occurrence. It's a profound symbol. It invites us to open our own eyes and hearts to the divine love demonstrated through Christ's sacrifice on the cross. It urges us to reflect on our own beliefs, to question, to seek, and to deepen our understanding of the spiritual dimensions of our lives. This miraculous event is a call to reflection and introspection. It's a prompt for us to examine the essence of our faith, to rekindle our spiritual connections, and to find solace in the enduring power of belief. Whether you see this as a sign from God, or interpret it differently, it undeniably stirs a sense of wonder and curiosity. So as we wrap up our journey today, I encourage you to carry this sense of wonder with you. Let it guide your reflections and conversations. Perhaps share this story with others and see what insights and perspectives they bring. Do you see it as a sign from God, or do you view it differently? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Universalist for more intriguing content. Until next time, stay curious.